So uh, that very handsome prime minister, Justin Trudeau, is g getting a, a splitting up with his wife, Sophie. Now after, that's the best hair. After 18 politics. years of marriage, um, you know, there are other splits going on in the uh, celebrity world. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello. Mm. Ariana the Grande. human specimens. I've Ariana Grande, Ricky Martin, Kevin Costner. Yeah. yeah. All of these people. Um, so these high profile splits are coinciding with an uptick in divorces, not across the United States. It seems as though divorces come in like spurts. Like when I got divorced in 1980 or something, I don't even remember. <laughs> there were a lot of people getting divorced, but to me it was like that was 10 years after the second wave of the feminist movement. And women were like, hey, I can't spend the rest of my life with this, and I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Now, then it stopped. Like, between 2017 and 2020, there was a decline, and then it was an uptick in 2021. What causes this? I think this? part of this the is pandemic. the pandemic and looking at that person's face every That's single right. day <laughs> and thinking, huh. <clears throat> So this is what the end of the universe looks like. Yeah, yeah. Me and you, and I want to punch you in the throat every day. It's almost like... So what am I going to do about that? Well, the flip Not side me. Of, I'm happy. The flip side <laughs> but, of that is when you come out the other side of the pandemic, I think so many people had this uh, appreciation of life and how you didn't have to be near death or get in a car accident to say, I'm oh. never taking this for granted again because you were literally hunkered down. So I think... And the other thing I think it does is, is we're seeing that... I didn't know this. The average age of people who divorce is 46 for men and 44 for women. Oh. So I think the age of a lot of the people we're seeing too are kind of that moment where you're, we're living longer now. Yeah. So you're That's hitting right. that 50 area and you're kind of well, like... Well, remember I used to say people used to die at 40, now they get divorced. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because There's they're a death. living well yeah, into but their it's, 90s it's, and they're living health, healthily. Now, imagine you've got to look at this face for another 50 years. But it's, I mean, it's tough. That's right. I mean, because, you, you know, we, it, it's now where an 80-year-old is vibrant, is full of life, is, is having some. quality Let's of life. Let's not point fingers. <laughs> yeah. is some of us. You know, is some Traveling of us. is... Not all. You know, my age is all over the internet now, so I don't give a damn anymore <laughs> that I'm 80 freaking You're years old. You're young enough to run for president. <laughs> Imagine being this old? No, I can't even imagine. The reason people can't get over your age is because you look damn good you and you've got good. all your faculties and you're out here working every day. That's why people can't get over it. You know? Yeah. And, and what, you're a and hot what, silver fox. And what's the trick? What's the trick, do you the, think? The Marrying a younger man. Well, you that, that. That's one of the tricks. The other trick yeah. is, uh, somebody said this, uh, that um, sunscreen is the fountain of youth. Oh, you yeah. hate yes, the sun. 100%. Do not go in the sun. Trust me on this one. By the way, for the audience, yesterday Joy was walking in Gucci heels, like, yay <laughs> high, and we were all like, okay, if I'm doing that when I'm 50, I'm going to be very proud. Yeah. But on Justin Trudeau, I once met him um, at a hula meeting. Hoops. Home older than her. <laughs> I met him once in Ottawa, and I mean, his politics couldn't be more different than yeah. mine, but I texted my husband, who's also Justin, I was like, that is one fine, Justin. Yeah, <laughs> and he speaks I mean, French, too, because he'll usually do a press conference in English and then in French, and it's... I think I... There, recently, Michelle sad. Obama did a, um, an interview where oh, she didn't yeah. directly say but she alluded that the hardest time in her marriage was when they were in the White House. I can't yeah. imagine the pressures that that puts on a marriage yeah. being a head of state, because you are actively, as a couple, saying the country is coming before our marriage. If there's a terrorist attack, if there's an economic yeah. crisis, it's no matter what your partner's going through, you're like, sorry, honey, the country has to come first. Well, so I could see how that wears Michelle on people. Michelle even went further. She said she didn't like her husband for about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but a lot of really, these people really not honest. only say the country, the, the country, they say that my party comes right. before the country, and then the wife. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and these... And we know who they are. Marriages in general, the yeah. outside of cameras, are very hard. If you, yeah. if you want a long one, very you're going to put work in, you're going to evolve, you're going to grow together, and there are going to be times you don't like each other, or as Sonny said, you want to punch them in the throat. <laughs> so, but... But why I think that the thing is now add cameras, attention, pressure, stress. Mm -hmm. You're amping up and magnifying what already exists. When? When you get married? When, when, you know, in marriages. Other, there, are, yeah. there are great the times and it's worth it or people wouldn't stay in them. But it's hard. But it's you hard. know, I, I, also divorce has become um, a lot more common and a lot more acceptable, socially acceptable. Right. When I was, you know, a little kid in school, I had maybe one... Uh, classmate, two classmates who had divorced parents. Nowadays, it's a lot more common. People have divorce parties. People uh, divorce don't see Divorce registries. It, divorce registries. They don't see it as, you know, as, as the end of their lives, as something to be crying over. They, you know, look at Shakira. She's like, women don't cry anymore. They make money. Yeah. The only thing, I would caution being, I'm not the only one who's divorced here.
I I'm a I'm, child I'm, of I'm divorce. I'm a child of divorce, yeah. and I thought it was one of the worst things it's, that ever happened in yeah. my life. It's honestly the hard, yeah. you can't, it's hard to get over for the kids. And, I, and Justin Trudeau and his, his soon-to-be ex-wife do have kids have together. It children. really is hard on the kids. Too much stuff changes, though, because when you think of the financial dynamic, women are now no longer financially dependent. Sometimes they're mm -hmm. breadwinners. Not all. We also, not all, but I mean, you, a lot of people are working. Too, I mean, I think the ma way majority of this country is two working parents yeah. or, or partners. Well, women need to have their own money. Yeah, yeah but then beyond but, that, you look at how accepting societies come for how we love, who we love. Yeah. And now you've yeah. got people that may be married at 20 because they were told they were supposed to to the guy next door, well, and now they don't want to be with the guy next think door. This is a man, now they want to be married this to the girl of, next door. Yeah, that too. This is, this, and it's legal. <laughs> And they can be their true selves. So I yeah. think a very sad thing yeah. as a, 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 another child of divorce. And that's, I mean, I'll be married 25 years, August 8th of this year. <laughs> and um, she got married when she was five. Yes, I did. <laughs> and, and because I'm a child of divorce, one of the first discussions I had with my husband was, are your parents divorced? They weren't. They stayed together 50 years mm -hmm. until they passed. And, he, and I said, for me, it is not an option on the table. So if it's an option on your table, you can't marry you someone can't like me. You can't predict the future. You don't yeah. know what the options are down the road. There are that's that's, like that's what I really believe. I, I agree, but I do like as partners going into it. I had the similar conversation because yeah. I was scarred by my parents' divorce. I said, we're not using that word. We are entering yeah. with the commitment we're in lifelong in this far life. Yeah. Now, I don't fault anyone. I have many good friends who are divorced. Sometimes it's the right thing, but I want to enter my marriage committing that that's not Yeah, but you know what? It's, it's a viable option for, for yeah. people now. And some people it is. You're not in a situation. I was not unhappy, happy, but I was growing apart. Yeah. You change over your lifetime, and this, that person doesn't fit you in. And there's, and there's kids who are also caution, very scarred by the bad marriages. Yeah, the kids, yes, too. the kids is a separate thing, and yeah, I feel totally. for my child also. Yeah. But I felt for myself. It was a yeah. terrible break and a breach when I got divorced. I, I was very upset until I met the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was, yes, we'll be right back. <laughs>